So Felipe Mesa, um, director, co-director co of Plan B Architects uh, based in Medellin. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I want to thank to Harvard University, Urbam, uh, all the people involved in this event, uh, Luis Callejas, uh, Charles Balheim, uh, Alejandro Echeverri, Camilo Restrepo, and all the other people that I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to show you in this, in a really brief way, because we don't have uh, enough time, uh, five competitions uh, that none of this project is, is it's been built uh, so they are really raw material they are just ideas so i i'll try to explain those projects in that way uh, really in a really really fast way uh, i would like to say also that uh, my background is an architectural background i'm not a landscape architect i'm not sure about that uh, worth. Uh, I understand myself as a typical architect. architect. Uh, it is true that some of our projects have uh, some geo geological or maybe botanical or ecological aspects that could be related with, with this event. Uh, so let's see what happens. So this is a competition that I uh, made in association with Giancarlo Masanti. Uh, all, all these competitions uh, were designed in the recent past, so between the five and ten years ago, yeah. So this is the administrative headquarters of the security department. This is really the, the competition of the DAS in Bogota, located in Funza. Uh, this place is located at 30 minutes from, from Bogota. Uh, as Diana told you before, uh, this place is a, a huge savanna, uh, a flat uh, landscape, really. Uh, and the, the ecosystem is a, a wetland. Uh, it's really beautiful. Uh, and the condition here in the competition, uh, first we tried to propose, we had to build a lot of square meters. And with this program, uh, normally what you are tempted to, to propose these blocks, uh, abstract blocks in the landscape or something like that. But in this case, we try to, to mix uh, the, the shapes of the buildings, the gardens, the wetlands uh, in, a, in, a, in a whole composition. So this is the, the ecosystem of, the, of that place. Mm. So there's a lot of water, a lot of humidity. Uh, and this, is, this, this was the plot. So the, the first thing that we decided was to create like a tissue of hexagons. So we decided to mix some of the wetlands with some of the different kind of gardens and try to mix different kind of buildings also. So we, we tried to broke the program to, to fragment all the program, created, creating groups of buildings connected. So uh, that was, our strategy, try to mix the, 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 the shapes, the, the tectonic forces with the botanical forces or with the uh, ecological forces. So it's really simple. So. And then we propose also a way, uh, uh, something similar that, that, that you have to do with this project when there's a lot of uh, money involved and a lot of time involved here, you need to plan the, the, the buildings on time. So we decided to, to create like, a, this is the group of the first year, this is the second year, this is the third year, for example. So this is also a strategy to grow, to grow on time uh, and to be close uh, with the budgets. Uh, something similar, uh, we did with the Orchideorama with Camilo. So uh, in the competition, we designed 15 modules, but finally we built only 10. So uh, the, project the project guarantee, because we, we, we designed it like a architectural or bioclimatic or pattern, really, with that metallic structure and we, with the wood enclosure. Uh, and you can control uh, 
what's, what's going to happen then? And if you repeat them, the modules, you, I don't know, maybe you can create like a bigger power, or, or, but, but always will be the same. So maybe if you lose uh, parts, nothing happens. So it, I think that is a really good strategy here in the tropics. So this is just, I'm just showing you different models and drawings on all, these are the dif different typologies of buildings and gardens and wetlands, uh, the different stages. So the red ones are the buildings that, that were going to, build, uh, to be built in the first year, the second year, the, the white ones, and then the green ones. So the buildings are like, a, like a stars or fingers surrounding a, a patio, a hexagonal patio connected with these tri triangular uh, gardens. And this is a horizontal architecture, really, really horizontal, connected in that way, uh, a really low architecture. Okay, the second one is, is, is literal. It's, it's, this is a butterfly house or a butterfly garden and a research center. center. It's a small competition. We, we designed it, I don't know, like seven years ago in, in one week only. So <laughs> I was trying to remember how was the, this, this process. So we propose again like a little architectural system. So this is like polygonal uh, modules, so you can connect them. So we have the, the, the orange one, it's like a hole, uh, and then you, you, you can connect with that one uh, modules, uh, with uh, some places to expose uh, butterflies, to walk with them in only one space, a controlled space. Uh, we have also some uh, modules with the, with, with the insectariums, uh, where the pupas or the uh, insects can uh, have their first stages, and their first stages. And, and then we have like uh, some other modules with two little buildings here uh, to where scientists were going to do some research. So this is the typ a typical plan, but this can change also if you connect more modules. Uh, so this is the, the system. You have the, the research buildings, the, the insectariums, you have the, exposi the exposition modules, and you, we, we propose like a, I don't know, like a metal structures with some uh, textile, uh, natural fibrous textiles uh, to create these kind of uh, enclosures. So this is the access model, which is really like a garden and a place to just to 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 start your 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 walk. Then you have the exposition model, when you can uh, be in contact with the butterflies. Then you have the experimentation and the insectariums, and then you have the research models. And this competition didn't really have a, a, a place. So it's like an abstract situation, thinking about a place located in the tropics, but you don't know exactly where. OK, so this is a, the, a third competition. This is uh, the Land Art Interaction Generator Initiative, which is a competition. I don't know where is located the, the, the organization. I, I guess it's in New York. Uh, so in this, in this uh, time, they proposed to intervene uh, someplace in Dubai. Uh, and our project, the name of our project is Runner Stolons. So it's something between land, landscape architecture, machine, and land art, I suppose. So I'm going to read a little piece of text. Of text. Uh, this project and some of our projects are designed in association with my wife, who is a biologist. I, I don't want to, to explain this in a bad way. So because she wrote the text, so I prefer to <laughs> I know that here we have uh, Brigitte and biologists, really. So, uh, so the Ras Al Khor Wildlife Sanctuary uh, contains a variety of ecosystems: mangroves, mudflats, lagoons, uh, sapcas, red beds, and shrub lands. It is one of the few urban protected areas in the world, with approximately 
266 species of fauna and 47 species of flora. The specific site for installation is a mud, flo mud flat with a planted Abyssinia, man mangroves, and halophytic uh, shrubs. So the landscape will be renewed uh, through ecological restoration similar to electrical cardioversion. The electric output produced by the small-scale solar panels and micro windmills of our, of our runners will be used to pump seawater from the water line, desalinize it, sprinkle fresh water and plant seeds of native uh, halophytic shrubs and wild flower, flowers. Do you see why? Do you see why do I need to read this? Yes. So, uh, some plants such as strawberries grow through stolons or runners, uh, which are horizontal stems that run along the soil surface and are capable of forming new clones of the same plant. So, to be really fast, what we des decided to do was to colonize this, so this, uh, this zone with this strategy of the runner stolons, like the strawberries. So, we, what we do is to... Uh, Sorry, to use the water, desalinize it here with a machine, uh, create a, a new humidity uh, in the soil, and we have like a seed sprinklers, and we have a we create new energy with solar panels and wind uh, energy. So we have solar panel. We create this machine, uh, so the plants can grow on time, and we can maybe transform in different stages the whole place. Uh, you can see here, uh, we are moving the, these, these machines. We are moving uh, in, in different uh, times. So, so this is what we were expecting, uh, maybe at uh, 15 years or something. Okay, this is a, another competition. This is the Eco Social Trees. This is a competition located in Santiago de Compostela. Uh, so the competition asked for the creation of uh, urban trees, and that's all. So we decided to work uh, creating these trees uh, in a connection with this social network, uh, the botanical garden of the city, the, the schools of the city, some, uh, I don't know, scientifics, uh, and the uh, Sotovento Park, which is a, a really a, a wind power plant. Uh, so we propose this uh, wood structure and then this uh, pneumatic structure using uh, the wind to, to inflate this, this, this thing. And we have, like a, we have a sensor that is controlled with using the software and the hardware wiring. Uh, and we can measure the, the air quality uh, in the outside, and we can express that using some devices. So it's like a different kind of machines to colonize the pub different kind of public spaces in Santiago de Compostela. This is another one. Uh, this is the typical competition when you have to, everybody wants a park, but when you see the, the, the text of the competition, they, what they are really telling you is that you have to build a huge building and a really small uh, public space. So what we decided was to do both. It's to localize the building uh, in the base of this, creating this uh, public surface with uh, native plants and plants with uh, shallow roots and native plants, of course, palms and heliconias, uh, etc. And we try to create uh, this mountain building or something located in the flat zone of the valley of Aburra to and look in the landscape, the landscape of the north of the of the valley. So this was the image that we wanted to to have. Okay, so, and finally, this is a project designed with, uh, with Camilo Restrepo. Uh, this is another competition, uh, and when, 
where they were asking uh, a lot of uh, a park, uh, Liberty Park, that was the name. Uh, but this was really about built a huge uh, or a no, a big towers. So we try to think about the park and the idea of mixing in a tissue uh, some aspects of a park and, a, and aspects of a plaza. So we decided to create some cells some, uh, this, with this geometry and divided the landscape of, of Antioquia in different kind of cells, in natural cells and social cells. And we tried to design it thinking about the, the places, the little towns, the rural zones that we love uh, in Antioquia. So we tried to, to use this cell with the information of one of the places that we wanted, some little towns or some natural uh, situations, topographical or hydro situation, whatever, uh, to create uh, this tissue that is really like a, a strategy to build not a park, not a, not a plaza, but a mix and a, a, of a public space that can grow up, in, can grow in time or can, I don't know, colonize different kind of uh, spaces. This is our some of the cells. Okay. And this could be the, the tissue in action. Okay, thank you.